Mhm. If you know anything about me, you will know that I am a Guinness drinker. Guinness is my jam. I like me nothing. It's a cold Guinness or two. But today we're gonna do something a little different with the Guinness. I'm gonna make a Guinness barbecue sauce. And I have some beef ribs here, some nice little beef ribs uh, left over from the butcher box from Massey. So I'm gonna make a oven barbecue beef ribs with a Guinness barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna use a special spice. I can't call it a secret spice because obviously I share the recipe with you all. Special spice, I'm gonna take this barbecue sauce to the next level. So let me get started. So the first thing we wanna do is season off the meat to throw it in the oven. Now I'm not gonna apply the barbecue sauce to the beef in the first part of the cooking process. What I'm gonna do is cook the beef, make the barbecue sauce, and then when the beef is, I guess, finished, then I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce on and throw it back into the oven to get that nice finish. What I'm looking for is a nice kind of sticky barbecue ribs. So I think to achieve that, we need to cook the beef first and then finish it off on high heat, or like under the broiler, as the case may be. And yeah, that would, you know, achieve the kind of finish that I'm going for. So nothing too crazy with the beef. I'm gonna put them inside here one time. And then just season them in this pan. All right, so we're not gonna go too crazy with the seasoning here. It's just a little bit of salt, some black pepper, some mustard powder, garlic powder, a little bit of vegetable oil. Now we just wanna rub all the pieces with the seasoning. Sure, all the pieces coated. Alright, so now that the beef is all seasoned and ready to go, what I want to do now is cover it with some foil. And what covering it with foil will do is create some steam action in the oven. So the beef is going to cook, it's going to uh, develop some moisture. The moisture is going to stay trapped inside here and the Steam is going to cook the meat. It's not going to dry out. So by the end of the cooking process, at least this part of the cooking process, you're going to have nice, tender, well-cooked beef. So I'll pop this in the oven and we're going to check back on it in a little bit. To make our Guinness barbecue sauce, I'm going to add a few dried spices. So I have some garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and the spice I'm gonna bring out real best flavor in this barbecue sauce is my little secret here, some ground clove. Clove is a real nice spice to this. So trust me on this, our ground clove. We have some tomato paste, not ketchup, please. Use tomato paste. You wanna add a bottle of Guinness. Some honey. And if you don't have honey, you could use like brown sugar. Just mix this up. Add in some salt to this, some black pepper. Now I find the mixture looking a little thick already and we still have to put this on the stove to reduce. So I'm gonna add another Guinness. We can't be afraid to put Guinness, right? I'm going to put this in our pot and put it on the stove to reduce. I'm going to add this to the pot. So I'm turning the heat up here on the stove because I want it to come to a boil. But as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn the heat right down to low and then allow it to simmer and reduce. So because we added another Guinness City mix, I just tasted it and realized it was just a little too bitter for the finish that I go in for. So when I add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. I think two tablespoons should be good. Stir that in. And at this point, I want to reduce my heat. I want it to reduce, thicken, and then all those flavors come together. 
Okay, so the sauce has been simmering away for the past 30 minutes. And as you can see, it has thickened and it's nice and dark. I did add in two bay leaves because I mean, you don't know, bay leaf is bay. And I think we're good here. So now I will just switch it off and wait for the beef to come out of the oven. And then we'll take it to the next step. All right, so the beef out of the oven, we're looking good. Now it's time to apply some of the barbecue sauce. It's gonna drop some barbecue sauce on them here. The Guinness barbecue sauce. The slathering is on there. I'm gonna pop it back in the oven at 400 degrees, uncovered this time. And I'll just finish it off and we'll be good to go. All right, the beef finish. So it's gonna just lay it right onto this board here. And even bothering with too much of a fancy plate in here. Just gonna lay them out. Nice. Spring cleaner. Fresh thyme. That's a presentation, huh? Make it look, you know, a little fancy. And that is it there, you know. Our Guinness barbecue beef ribs out of the oven and just ready to dig in. Right, so it's on a TV magic going on. What I did was I had to set up the final shot. So this is the final shot here that you would see at the end of the video. But yeah, let me dig in and see what's going on here. She had my herbs and thing. Try to make it look presentable because truth be told, these are not the most photogenic things to shoot. But as you could see, the meat tender, if the camera will just focus, you would see all the meat tender. If the camera, ah, there we go. We're seeing that. You're seeing what's going on, the tender. Queen for a taste. And yeah, mm-hmm. Again, the sweetness from the honey, balancing off a little bit of aftertaste of the Guinness. And yeah, I'm clove inside there, doing the most. Mm -hmm. This is a proper recipe. And the thing about it is, this is really about the Guinness barbecue sauce. So, yeah, I use ribs here. But you could use chicken, you can use fish, you could use fish, whatever the case may be, whatever meat you have. Throw this Guinness barbecue sauce on it. And trust me, they're good to go. Ratings. As always, the full recipe can be found on eataforttt.com. Look for a link in the video description. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.